Welcome back. I'm Pratap here. Today is the 23rd January 2024. So let us uh, look into the high liquidity zones generated in our uh, previous report and then we generate the high liquidity zones uh, with the help of Neostock software. Previous uh, uh, video, we have generated five high liquidity zones sorry, six high liquidity zones. First one is uh, Ambuja Cements. And this is a high liquidity su daily supply zone. The prices haven't entered into this. So we did not get the trade. And the next one is uh, Punjab National Bank. Punjab National Bank uh, is just narrowly missed the 75 minutes trade. And I didn't find you in the zone because uh, this stock is, uh, this daily zone is identified in the year 2000, uh, uh, 18, 2018. And we didn't have enough uh, uh, 15 minutes data and 5 minutes data to find you in this zone. So that is the reason why not in a position. If at all, if anybody would should plan the trade, probably at uh, 75 minutes uh, DIT trade or uh, monthly MIT trade only they should plan. Monthly MIT trade is already they got the entry prices entered into the zone. But you should also do the other analysis. MIT trade finding the trend, finding the location, finding the price direction. Anyway, at present I am not analyzing that. And the next one is a Dixon. Dixon is a 75 minutes, uh, not 75 minutes, it's a daily demand zone. We have a rally, base candles and a rally. And this zone is violated. But we didn't take a trade. Can you guess why we didn't take the trade? Generally, when we know a zone will be violated, we won't take the trade. But this zone is a very perfect structure. The zone structure is very perfect. See here. Inside the, uh, inside the daily, we identified an excellent 75 minute zone. We have a drop, we have three base candles and a uh, rally candle. We have an excellent DBR 75 minutes. This is good. And then look into the 15 minutes. Inside the 75 minutes, we need to fine tune to the 15 minutes. This is what we discussed in the recent uh, training lesson, zone confluence. And even in the practical lessons, I clearly explained all the scenarios. Exactly the same way we are doing the, we are fine tuning the zone. See, inside the 75 minutes, we identified a 15 minute zone. Let me change the time frame to 15. See, we have a rally and three base candles and a rally candle. This is a rally candle with hidden body. This is a 15 minute zone. So 15 minute zone is an excellent zone. After that, again, inside the 15, we find you into the five minutes. Look into this five minute zone. We have a drop candle, we have one, two, three base candles and see the rally candle with the hidden body. It's an excellent zone structure inside this. And moreover, this zone is not tested. It's not a tested, it's a fresh zone, the five minute zone. We are looking for an entry inside the five minutes. So it is a fresh zone in the five minutes. And today, prices entered into this zone, five minute zone. See, entered into this zone and even it reached the target, the 15 minutes target. Let me show you the 15 minutes target. See here, drop, base, drop. It reached the target. But we didn't take the trade. What is the reason? Can you guess? The reason is RR, risk reward. See the RR, very poor RR. When you have such kind of poor RR, we won't take trades. Why? Because the supply zone is there immediately just before the demand zone. Whatever the RR, that is not good enough.
and moreover the supply zone we don't know it may break this demand zone next time the existing pending orders pushed the prices maybe it would have pushed the prices further up if this supply zone is not near to this because the supply is very strong today see the zone is violated next in the second attempt not in the first attempt first attempt prices reached very close to the distal line it's not into the distal line maybe few pais or few pais or few rupees before the distal line and then prices moved up and reached till the supply zone the target even though today market is very strong bearish market today market is very strong bearish market even then prices are pushed up to the 15 minute zone but that is not good enough to hold this zone the pending orders in this zone the supply zone is very strong and after that this 5 minutes zone fine tuned area even 15 minutes area even this entire high liquidity zone the 75 minutes zone daily everything is violated the reason is we have only in this area the order flow is there but this order flow is not strong compared to the supply today supply is so strong we have seen in the entire market but why we didn't plan even though it reached the target why we didn't plan the trade is because we don't have rr at least we should have one is to 2.5 rr but what is the rr we got here let us see let us see the long position See, see how small this uh, the target is going to be here rr is just 0.88 rr is 0.88 not even 1 is to 1 that is the reason why we didn't plan trade in this stock now let us look into the let us look into the next stock so this is a good learning for you because you can't plan every trade the rr is not good you cannot plan the trade next one is godrej properties consumer properties this is also a 75 minute zone rally base rally but see prices did not enter into this zone today not reached up to this today morning market went up after that it came down but still prices did not enter the area so we didn't get the trade next one mutut finance this is also a 75 minute zone just below that there is a daily high liquidity zone is there the mutut finance daily high liquidity zone previously once our software is identified this zone we have fine tuned this zone but today prices didn't come see the order flow how strong it is within the zone how it pushed see the rejections from this zone because supply is very strong today and moreover during the last hour of the trading session prices entered there is no expected move from this zone but anyway the prices were moved up from the pro gap area see here there is a pro gap in that zone from there it moved up okay but uh, we are looking for we are not looking for this daily zone we are looking for the 75 minute zone 75 minute zone is violated why it is violated we know this zone will be violated well before how we know because it is already tested earlier this zone is tested which which is on the fine tuned 5 minute zone is already tested the 5 minutes zone so for that you have to get up to 5 minutes then only you will understand so for that let us do the fine tuning the zone with the help of zone confluence already you learned how to fine tune the zone in our training lessons so from our current time frame 75 minutes one more time frame below you go the one more time frame is 15 minutes so inside the inside the 75 minutes we identified the 15 minutes area see we have 
base candles one two three four base candles say let us say this is a drop candle drop base rally see after that prices again entered into this zone and from here it pushed down if this zone would have been a high liquidity zone then we would have taken a trade here if this zone would have been a high liquidity zone which zone the 15 minutes or 5 minutes zone but they are not high liquidity zones so after that five let us get into 5 minutes how we fine tuned where actually we planned our trade see here we have a rally candle three base candles and a rally candle see after that prices entered into this zone went more deep inside this zone maybe a zone is created you may ask a question can't we take again another trade in this zone if it is a high liquidity zone definitely we will take but this is not a high liquidity zone you may ask there are already multi testing is there multi testing is there but multi testing is not only the confirmation for the high liquidity zone there are so many other conditions at least some 3 to 4 tests are there some extent at least 80% level we can we can predict this could be a high liquidity zone 80 percent a probability level but do we have those many tests maybe we have first test and went up and again second test or continuously some rejections are are there wait why rejections because there is an order flow but see here the last candle it went more deep inside this zone and we have only few pending orders. We don't know how strong it is going to be the remaining. And moreover, today market is having a lot of supply. And that's why this is, uh, we don't have. But see, previously what happened, the other stock, uh, Dixon. Dixon we have seen. First time, uh, first test. That's why the prices were able to push up to the 15 minute supply zone. It reached 15 minute supply zone. But why we didn't take trade is uh, because there is no enough horror. Risk reward is not there. That's why we didn't take the trade. But this we can't plan like that because it is already tested. Previously, prices moved it deep into that. But there is a pro gap area here. Within the pro gap area, if you want to plan a trade, see the risk, so much of risk we can't take. See the pro gap area, the already there were some rejections from here, some extent. Prices entered into this pro gap area before reaching into this uh, five minute zone. Some rejections from this pro gap area. Till the five minute supply zone prices moved from this pro gap area. See, this is the five minutes a drop, a base, two base candles, and a drop. See, prices entered just up to this area. Again, because today the uh, Supply is very strong. Again, it pushed. See, because this zone is already tested, earlier prices went more deep, not even given any resistance from here. Easily, this zone is violated. So that is the reason why we didn't plan, because we know this zone will be violated easily. We would have, we would have kept some confidence if this would have been a high liquidity zone. But it is just tested earlier once or twice, nothing more than that. Based on that, we cannot confirm this is a high liquidity zone. Even sometimes a three test, four test also, we can, our confidence level on confirming it is a high liquidity zone is only just 80% level. Only our software has to confirm, there is, otherwise there is no other way. Manually, you cannot 100% say this is a high liquidity demand zone, that is your S underscore DZ, you cannot confirm. This is a classic example because, because even Q&A session also explained, the recent Q&A session. Someone asked the question, can we identify high liquidity zones manually? See, if you would have thought uh, this is a high liquidity zone because it has tested some couple of times, see, it is failed easily today. That is the problem. So that is the reason why five minutes level, unless we have so much of confidence on that, you cannot take multiple trades. That's why what is the rule I defined in our high liquidity strategy, unless that five minute zone or 15 minute zone is a high liquidity zone, 
at least supported by our software or at least supported by multi testing earlier at least more than 3 or 4 times testing earlier at that at the time also at least our confidence is only at 80% level if our software says okay 100% confidence we will be having because it performed all the required checks so that's why we didn't plan a trade in this zone and as expected the zone is violated because we know when a zone will be violated if the price structure is not good zone will be violated but price structure is very good but even then why it is violated because it is multi it is already tested zone and moreover prices went more deep into this more deep into this and moreover see the price closed inside the zone earlier we need rejections from this zone to understand the order flow. But is there, is there any rejection from here? Price closed inside the zone. That is even more dangerous. It's even more dangerous. Price closed, closed inside the zone. That's why in our software, Neostock software, I identified one column CIZ, closed inside the zone. If a CIZ count is there, probably it is an indication to me better not to get into that particular zone. If pending orders are there, prices won't be closed inside the zone. If the pending orders are very strong, it won't be closed. That is one indication to me. Even I'm doing lot, uh, still doing research on that area, the close inside the zone. But anyway, software point of view are developed. But a lot of other confirmations I have to do. But at this point of time, it is an indication for me. Close inside the zone, mostly I don't enter into the zone unless it is a unless it is a high liquidity zone. Because high liquidity zones is having the capability of creating new fresh zones. Okay, by, that's why by considering all these points, we decided not to take this trade. It's very dangerous because it is against our basic principles we formed for our high liquidity strategy. What is our high liquidity strategy at five minutes level? The zone should be a fresh zone. Even if you want, sometimes it, we can take second trade also. Five minutes, but at the time price action close should be there. There should be a strong rejection at the proximal line of that zone. In such kind of scenarios, you can take second trade because your risk is minimized. Already five minutes level, we minimize risk. Even if the zone is violated, we get a very small loss. When you have such kind of strong indication, you can risk for second trade. But here, we didn't have any such kind of strong indications. Moreover, CIZ I have seen. The close inside the zone I have seen. So which is a dangerous for me. That is what happened today. So Mutut Finance, we didn't plan the trade. And this is the one excellent Bank of Baroda. We have to discuss a lot in this See, it reached the target. Even then, we would have got more target. It reached the target as per our strategy. Even then, we also learned earlier, there is a concept called trailing stop loss. If you would have implemented trailing stop loss in this, in this particular stock, how much profit you would have got? Why we have to implement trailing stop loss in this zone? Because near to this zone, we identified a supply zone. There itself, it has given a good return. Let us do all the calculations part in this, in this uh, session because this is going to be important how to get more and more profits. The moment it reaches the 15 minutes target, yes, our target is achieved. That is enough. But when you expect even more profits, there should be some justification. What are those justifications? Let me tell you. Because today morning itself in the Telegram, in our Telegram channel, I have mentioned about this stock. It reached the target the moment it entered. That itself, it has given a profit of 17,111 rupees. And that to the, at the time itself, it has given 12.15% ROI it has given. It is a double than our, uh, double to our uh, average ROI by the time it reached that 15 minutes target. So this is the 15 minutes target. And here we got the entry. First, let us see. Let us look it from 75 minutes. Then we will see by using trialing stop loss how you would have got more profit. 
ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ డూ ఈజ్ ఇట్ రియల్లీ క్వాలిఫైడ్ ఫర్ ట్రైలింగ్ స్టాప్ లాస్ ఫర్ అడాప్టింగ్ ట్రైలింగ్ స్టాప్ లాస్ దట్ ఆల్సో వీ డిస్కస్ లెట్ ఎస్ సీ ఆల్ ద క్యాల్కులేషన్స్ పార్ట్ సో దట్ యూ విల్ గెట్ క్లారిటీ So this is the 75 minutes a drop base drop so there is a strong rejection from here that means there is a heavy order flow sometime before i told you if there is a strong indication there is a huge order flow you can even take second trade also i told you this is one such kind of example this rejection but let us really get into our uh, fine tuning area you will get clarity this is at 75 minutes level we are saying but this is not good enough we have to fine tune up to 5 minutes level so in the 15 minutes level within the 75 minutes area we identified a very good erc candle base candle and a drop candle see after that prices went into this 15 and see the rejection from here see the rejection in this candle see and after that the price push first of all a rejection you should identify that is the first clue rejections always indicates there could be a strong order flow please remember now let us get into the 5 minutes time frame see the 5 minutes zone see we have a leg candle leg in we have three base candles and we have a leg out and see the rejection the moment it is about to enter into this 5 minutes fine tuned area so this itself indicates we definitely we can take a trade in this zone so that is what happened today why because order flow it indicates the order flow is very strong here so today the price has entered into the zone see how it has given the strong the strong push from this area and reach the target okay but if you are expecting a huge target can we plan yeah we can plan provide based on trailing stop if any case if prices from here it moved up and moving towards the supply zone still if you are in a position to get good profit are we in a position to get good profit see here we have a demand zone sorry we have a supply zone and this supply zone has to be violated if this supply zone is violated where you have to exit from your trade you have to exit from your trade at the high of this zone what is the high of this zone at 32 20 32 paisa but what is your entry your entry is a Two thirty-five, seventy paisa. The prices went up to seventy-five paisa. Two thirty-five, seventy-five. But entry is the proximal line is at two thirty-five, seventy. So let us keep two thirty-five, seventy minus. And where you have to exit the high of this zone? What is the high of this zone? Two thirty-two, twenty. in case if market is against you how much profit you get that is what we are calculating because at least 6.1 profit roi if you get that is good enough for us you got 3.5 rupees profit you got when if you were trailing stop loss concept fail that means this supply zone is violated market is moving against your uh, expectation when it is moving against your expectation immediately at this distal line of the supply zone you need to exit now your profit is limited to this area so we got 3.5 rupees profit for one share but what is one lot of one uh, f and o futures and options lot size the lot size is a 2925 so 3.5 into 2925 you you would have got 10237.5 rupees profit so excellent profit 
what is the cost of this uh, futures so it was around 146000 around 1 lakh some few rupees roughly let me calculate into 100 divided by 1 lakh say 48 maybe it's few hundred below or above 1 lakh 48000 still you would have got 6.91 percent roi is one more one one lakh 48 or one lakh 43 something is there okay anyway we got a very good profit so we got 10237 rupees if you would have sold here in this demand zone 15 minutes demand zone you would have got 17111 rupees profit maybe around 7000 rupees profit margin is reduced if the, our if market moves against our expectation but still our uh, average roi 6.1 6.9 is above that that means it is rich achieved we already achieved good profit even if you lose some amount there is not much harm for us at least the minimum profit what we are expecting that we are getting now if market moves as per our analysis we may get even more profit so that is the reason why we are using trailing stop loss see now price has entered now what happened now again a new zone is created drop base drop so now you adjusted your trailing stop loss now you can delete this now this is going to be now what will happen if prices goes against you at this level you will be exit from your trade now definitely you may get the instead of 10000 rupees profit now definitely you may get maybe close to uh, around 15000 rupees profit because this supply is very close to demand maybe approximately let us say maybe around 15000 rupees profit you would have got but if you would have sold here exactly in this demand zone you got exactly 17100 sorry 17111 rupees profit you got now this is there a little above probably up to 15000 profit you would have got in case if the analysis is i mean <coughs> excuse me if the market moves against your direction okay fine now again what happened now again a new zone is created here new supply zone now delete the earlier one suppose now market moved against you now definitely our profit would have been maybe around 17500 uh, or something like that earlier 17100 what you expected at the proximal line of this zone now this uh, supply zone is inside this demand zone definitely your profit would have been maybe 17500 or a little above that but anyway prices did not break this supply zone now what happened now another supply zone is created here say we have say this is a lagging candle three base candles that way if you think we have a new supply zone here now let us delete this if this new supply zone is violated then probably at this distal line you will exit but that didn't happen prices moved up but during this process there is again one more zone is created rally two base candles and a drop candle so let me draw this zone till the distal line the high of the base candle let me delete this so prices entered into this zone maybe if it is if prices went a little high we would have exited at this proximal line if you would have exited at this prox uh, sorry not proximal line i'm sorry distal line you would have exited at the distal line of the supply zone if prices moved some more high but that didn't happen in case if it happened definitely you would have got a profit around close to 20000 rupees but anyway this zone is not violated prices further came down 
and the second time again it tried to reach and came down now again a new supply zone is created here we have a leg candle say this is a erc candle and we have three base candles now you would have drawn a new supply zone like this let me delete this supply zone this is going to be new target for you we have a drop base drop but this is also not violated so finally we are moving close to the last hour of the trading day so prices are moving here and here there is a lot of rejections from this area let me draw the horizontal line this is a 5 minute zone we are seeing see 5 minutes supply is not even a 5 minute supply is violated today not even a single 5 minute supply zone is violated because prices are moving here probably at this horizontal line you would have exited somewhere at 2 o'clock uh, 55 minutes or between 2 o'clock 40 minutes somewhere here you would have taken a decision or maybe a little high you would have exited you would have exited that is a different story so definitely you would have taken a decision so let us assume at this horizontal line somewhere you exited your trade so what is that 221 rupees 75 paisa if not there let us move a little above maybe somewhere here because mostly prices are with this blue color line area so maybe 222 rupees 10 paisa you would have exited what is our entry our entry is 235.70 paisa 235 point 75 paisa minus what is your exit as per your trailing stop loss approach you followed and finally at the end of the day market closing day you are exited at 222 point 10 paisa you would have got 13 rupees 6 paisa profit on this stock so what is the lot size 2925 so into 2925 you got 39078 rupees close to 40000 rupees profit you got today if you would have followed trailing stop loss approach on this stock okay as per our high liquidity zones it reached our 15 minutes target so our software point of view it reached the target forget about the software point of view for your individual point of point of view if you would have adapted trailing stop loss concept you would have got close to 40000 rupees profit your investment is around 148000 or maybe 140 Five thousand are a little below, but let me say into hundred divided by one lakh forty-eight thousand lot size. You got twenty-six point eight seven percent. That means one fourth of the capital you got the profit today in just one trading day by using our high liquidity zones concept. and trailing stop loss combining high liquidity zones with trailing stop loss previously also at the time of providing explanation about the trailing stop loss i clearly told you use trailing stop loss only when the supply zone suppose if it is a demand zone your target is there the supply zone should be near to the demand zone then only you go for such kind of things if this zone is very near to this uh, your entry zone don't go for trailing stop loss if you due to any reason if your analysis goes wrong your entire profit margin is gone but today what this zone is close to this demand zone even if this zone is violated if analysis is market moved against our analysis 
still you would have got 6.1 percent average ROI we got around 6.8 percent we got right so you got 10,000 rupees profit instead of 17,000 rupees profit still that is a good profit but if it is very close probably you would have got 1,000 or 2,000 rupees profit if you follow such kind of approaches that's why always make sure when you want to adapt trailing stop loss the simple technique is the whichever the zone you are drawing for the violation as per the trailing stop that zone should be very close to your target zone and in case if market goes against you your profit margin should not be reduced at least minimum expected profit margin if you get if you get then you go for suppose let us assume from here to this zone your average roi is say for example around 6% or 5.5% at the time don't go for trailing stop loss unless this zone is very very close to this because your average roi is not met If it is taking again another 1% or 2% of your average ROI, instead of 6%, you will be getting only 3% or 3.5% profit. At the time, don't risk. But today, already we got our average ROI, we got. Even if it is violated, still our ROI is more than our average ROI. So that's why in such kind of situation, there is nothing wrong in taking a chance, taking a chance. So those who have taken a chance today, they would have got, instead of 17,000 rupees profit, they would have got close to 40,000 rupees profit. See how it made the difference. So that's why sometimes a trailing stop loss is a very, very important concept. But you have to use that concept in a clever way. Your calculation should be very proper. And your decision making also should be proper. In such kind of situation, always you get a very good profits. Even if you if market goes against you, from your existing profit margin, only small amount only you will be losing. Not a huge. That's why the technique I clearly told you. Whatever the supply zone you are drawing, that is should be very close to your target demand zone. Suppose if your target demand zone is a, sorry, your target zone is a supply zone, suppose for long, if you are taking a long trade, this is an example to short trades. Or assume your trade is a long trade. At the time, you have to draw the demand zone near to your target supply zone. If the demand zone is there near to the target supply zone. In this example, supply zone is there in the near to the target demand zone. When you, such kind of situations only you have to look for trailing stop loss. And the second scenario, assume uh, the ROA is not uh, very great. ROA, ROA, suppose your ROA is from your uh, uh, supply zone to this demand zone, ROA is, is only 3%, let us assume. At the time, don't go for uh, trailing stop concept because your uh, target itself is very small. If anything goes again, that small target also further reduced. In such, in such kind of situation, if your zone is very, very close, very, very close, see here some, at least some considerable distance is there near to this zone, demand zone. The supply zone is, if you draw, some considerable distance is there. Instead of that, your zone is like this very close somewhere here let us assume your zone is like this the distance is very minimal very very minimal in such kind of situation even though if let us assume this ROA is very small in such kind of situation only you can take a chance very very close but if it is some considerable distance like this then don't uh, Go see here the distance is considerable, but still, why we looked for this uh, 
trailing stop loss in this stock is already even if this zone is violated we are getting more than 6.1 percent uh, ROI we are getting that's why you can take a risk in today hope you understand you got the clarity so this is about the analysis part if anybody would have followed trailing stop loss and got a huge profit today my congratulations to them even if you don't follow and if you exited, still my congratulations because this itself has given 12.15% uh, uh, ROI it has given. So that's a very good profit. See, if you get such kind of stocks, at least uh, 10 stocks in a month, 10 stocks in a month, assume, out of 22 trading days. Your amount will be doubled, your investment will be doubled within a month or less than a month. But of course, it won't happen if your investment is, at present, as per our high liquidity zones concept, I am sure most of your investments will be more going to be more than 70 to 80 percent during the month. Sometimes even it is close to 100%, sometimes. If you compare our last uh, four months data. Okay, now let us uh, generate the reports. Let me start with the yearly time frame. Let us find the stocks near yearly demand zone. No stocks are there. For yearly time frame, let us find the stocks near yearly supply zone. No stocks are there. Let's go back. And the half yearly time frame, last uh, trading session, last report we didn't get. Let us find the stocks near half yearly demand zone. Now we got a stock. Now Delta uh, Corporation moved close to the half yearly demand zone. So keep an eye on this stock, especially those who are looking for uh, long-term investments. Uh, probably you may get an opportunity here. So let's go back. For half yearly time frame, let us find the stocks near half yearly supply zone. No stocks. Let us change the time frame to quarterly. And uh, let us find the stocks near quarterly demand zone. Two stocks are there near quarterly demand zone. So let me go back for quarterly time frame. Let us find the stocks near quarterly supply zone. So two stocks are filtered. So let me go back. Next, let me change the time frame to monthly. Let me find the stocks near monthly demand zone. We have eight stocks are there. Let me go back for monthly time frame. Let us find the stocks near monthly supply zone. So one stock is filtered. Now let me go back. Let me change the time frame to weekly. And let us find the stocks near weekly demand zone. So 17 stocks are filtered. Let me scroll down. Okay, let's go back for weekly time frame. Let us find the stocks near weekly supply zone. So one stock is there. So let me go back. Let us change the time frame to daily. So entry time frame is daily. Let us find the stocks near daily demand zone. So 15 stocks are filtered. Let us identify the high liquidity demand zones. We have ACC, it is a S underscore DZ high liquidity zone and it is a fresh zone identified by the software. So check the, because it is a fresh zone, you must check the quality of the zone 
by doing proper fine tuning what is proper fine tuning inside uh, uh, daily you have to look for 75 inside 75 you should look for 15 inside 15 you should look for 5 minutes if all these structures are proper then only you have to plan the trade because there is no test there is no rejection so it is a completely fresh zone even inside also probably probably we don't know maybe inside 5 minute zones might have been tested if that is the case you cannot plan a trade unless that is a high liquidity zone again and the next one is a conquer this is a conquer is a all time high demand zone so you should be very careful when you are planning the trade only short term only you have to plan an all time high demand zone that to on daily time frame next high liquidity zone is hindalco this is also a fresh zone next high liquidity demand zone there is one more pnb a pnb is moving between high liquidity supply zone and high liquidity demand zone but pnb is already tested once and uh, having two rejections so you need to look for a fresh zones inside especially at 15 minutes or 5 minutes level next to tata chemicals this is also a high liquidity zone tested once and two rejections so you need to look for a fresh 5 minutes or 15 minute zones inside them so these are all the high liquidity demand zones sir. from our daily list so let's go back daily time frame let us find the stocks near daily supply zone so are there any high liquidity supply zones so no high liquidity supply zones from this list daily time frame and uh, in this video i am not generating uh, stocks near uh, a demand and supply zones below the daily time frame that is 75 minutes 125 minutes 15 5 minutes i am not generating even 25 minutes the reason is there is some issue with uh, intraday data so unless the issue is resolved some data issues are there not the software issue data issues so unless that is resolved i cannot uh, publish uh, uh, zones below the daily time frame so if it is resolved before the market hours probably i will try to make a video if not i will put them in our telegram group one of these things i do so keep watching in our telegram group for any updates if it is after market is started and after the data issues are resolved probably i will publish in our telegram group because may not be having enough much time for you to go through the video so keep watching in our telegram group for the updates hope this information is useful to you let us all meet again in our next video thank you